Welcome to episode 2 of Erratus, Lord of the Dead. And the saved game of the one I'm recording. Right. In the first episode, I basically managed to get through the whole of the tutorial. In this game, you play as Erratus, a necromancer who has been defeated and has risen again. And you're basically on the side of evil. It kind of plays in some ways like Darkest Dungeon. But the graphics are good. It's fun. At least on the current lowest level. And in, its early, in the early stages. Now this game was actually released. I didn't cover this in the first episode. It's released less than a week ago. So there are still fixes coming out for it. There's some of the fixes, or the most recent one I saw, rebalance some of the minions for various reasons. Some were too powerful, some were too weak, etc. So this game and its balance may change as time goes by. But it is generally a, as they describe it, as a roguelike type game. I just kind of think of it as like Darkest Dungeon, but from the side of evil. Now, I'm going to go to the dungeon. This is where I left it last time. I just had a battle here, and I can continue on exploring the dungeon. If I go that way, I've got two battles in a row. If I go this way, I can get a chest that contains some artifacts. And I came from that direction. I can't go back that way. So, once you choose a direction, you're kind of stuck with it. So, I think I will go... Oh, I need to choose my squad. So, take my current full squad and head towards the chest. And I get a maddening amulet. A maddening amulet? Enemies may go insane if sanity is 85% or less. Hoop of fear... For each escaped enemy, Eratus additionally gains 25% of the experience on the current level. A grappling hook. Minions gain plus 4 luck, plus 4 accuracy, and plus 4 eva evasion. I'll take the maddening am ah, amulet. I can use this. And now I'll take my squad onwards into battle. As you can see, I'm currently in the mines. Above that is the dwarf tunnels. The mercenary barracks, the catacombs, and the cathedral. So, I've got a long way to go. I don't know which way is out of the mines currently. But I'm sure I'll get there in the end. And here comes my first battle of the episode. I, I do like these guys, these taskmasters. They whip their own people more often than not. Okay, my wonderful bride of whatever... I will fire a wonderful fire arrow into him. And... Bone shards. Magically attack a random enemy. We'll aim for him and we'll just see where, whom it hits. Oh, I hit the guy at the back. My skeleton can have a nice, nice little melee battle with the guy at the front. As can my wonderful Dark Knight. Unless there's anything else I want to do. Hollow stare. Yeah, stress attack. Futile hopes. No. Oh yes, wonderful. Erratus does have some spells I can use, so... I'm going to use a bone spear. On him. Well, on the guys at the front. And now I'll hit this guy. Didn't do much damage to him. Taking up a nice defensive stance. And now they're going to try and try and hurt me. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. You hit my lady. Twice. Alright, skeleton, hit this guy. That did a fair bit of damage. And now my guy at the back. Well, before we get to him, let's. 
There's no sun up in the sky, bony weather incoming. I don't want to do rain of fire because that'll hurt me probably more than it hurt them. Become part of the breathless tide. Okay, I killed the guy at the back from being on fire. How did he live through that? Right, we're going to move you forward. Strength through pain. <laughs> yes, it hurts because he had to move onto a trap, but at least this way he will actually get to hit somebody. Oh, no. And selecting the wrong attack. Not very friendly. Alrighty. Let's finish this guy off with an arrow. One more for the stockpiles. And this guy can do his bone shards thing again. He just hits a random person. That wasn't very friendly hitting a lady. Alright, let's bone shard somebody else. Oh dear, how sad he died. Now it's four on one. A heartless slash. Ouch. Alright, you hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. And now I'm gonna fire an arrow into you. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic civilizations. Yeah, I got a level 4 brain which is kind of nice okay yeah the graveyard has some stuff okay first I need to go to my graveyard right, I put somebody in the mortuary to heal them so they can come back and I put somebody in here to get some experience so they can come back and we'll put the Banshee in there so she can gain some more experience. Right, my current minions, five of them can level up. The wonderful skeleton at the front can do some more damage. The Dark Knight behind him can also not do some more damage. Uh have some better initiative. He also has an ability upgrade. Deals additional damage equal to 40% of the sum of the Dark Knight's armor and resistance. Or deals additional damage up to 60% of the sum of the Dark Knight's armor and... I expect results. Okay. Uh, my wonderful Bride of Erratus. Can have some evasion and we'll go with some more accuracy then the wonderful leech can two bonus points have some evasion and have some luck and oh, that deals magical damage to two en random enemies and an ally. Deals damage to one random enemy, ignores a ward. All right, we'll give you that ability. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. And my dark knight. I think I want to go with that one again. 
and let's give you some more initiative so at least you attack sooner okay now I want to get you out of there and put you into my wonderful squad so I'm gonna move you out right actually let's move you over there you over there I need two new thuggish type minions for the front of my ah okay I don't have enough bits to create a skeleton by the looks of it create a banshee a wraith a lich or a mummy that's not good all right well this is gonna be my battle squad that's gonna go into battle I don't have enough bits to create the things I need but I will create a mummy they will carry the curse of my tomb to the world. And then having created a mummy, I will give the mummy a level 4 brain. Which, they have a cursing touch. Uh, clinging wraps. I'll upgrade that and give you some attack points and some luck. Now, what I need to do with you is what can I give you out of this stuff? Increased damage dealt by 10%, reduces physical damage received. You can have that and that. And you. This is critical damage dealt by the Bride of Eratus by 50%. Okay. That would be you. You can have that. So that's them upgraded slightly. Oh, did I fail to upgrade you in some way? Oh yes, you have four stat points. Um, okay. Let's increase your accuracy. And increase your initiative. I might as well cliche dread as well. Right, so that's you now, hopefully upgraded. Yep, that is you upgraded. Okay, just a little plus sign took its time to disappear. Okay. So let's replace the mummy over there to replace the leech. And I think I've got a couple of talents I can upgrade. Um, dun -dun -dun. Destruction. A volley of spears. Additionally, it deals 100% physical damage if the target is debuffed. Flaming skull. We'll select that one. And we will select the cursed doll. Right. So Eratus now has a couple more things he can do. So the squad on my left, even though the two Dark Knights at the front are hurt, will be my squad. And I need to go back here because I have space in the mortuary to fix that guy. And I've got the Banshee in there. Okay. So off I go back to the dungeon. And I need to go... I'll go this way. Oh, I need to choose a battle squad. Squad one. Off we go. Pick up some more stuff. A grappling hook. War drums. All we minions receive plus three initiative for the first two turns of combat. I like that one. Yeah, I think I'll go with the war drum. Collecting. So before I go into battle, uh, artifacts. War drum, you go there. Ah, fetching. Okay, I can, can't use that if I'm using the war drum. Well, that'll give me better initiative, so. Off we go to battle. I'll choose my squad. So 
So we're up, we're up against Hunky, a couple of miners, and a taskmaster. Well, Hunky, have a bad day. Taskmaster, have some fire. And you, my friend, savage raps. Hit Hunky. They all seem to be picking on the same guy, which isn't very friendly. Um, you just straight up hit him. Oh, of course, he had a block on him. Okay, let's savagely wrap you. Bad day. Let's give you an even worse this day. This is my kind of entertainment. Oh, you've got a block, haven't you? Yes, I keep forgetting to look down just below them. Sometimes you can see they have a block. Um. Okay, impending horror, stress attack. Maybe okay, not that bullet about a stress attack. We'll just go with a nice savage wrap on you. Oh. And we'll just stop beating on you like a rented mule. Death delivered. And then there was one. Well, you're feeling a bit worse, aren't you, pal? And while I'm here, let's give you a hail, no a one. hail of teeth. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Apparently that got me an achievement called Chainbreaker. Not entirely sure what that achievement is, but it got me an artifact. Well, a couple of them. And apparently my Bride of Erratus has gone up a level, so let's give you some evasion skill and some luck. And let me go to the graveyard. Where's my wonderful guy? All right. You go there and you go get healed. You go there, you go there, I guess you out the way. And how are you doing? You've still got a way to go before you get up to the next level. So, back to the good old dungeon and on to the next battle. Oh, choose a battle squad. Yes, my mummy might get a bit hurt this time round, but that's life. Ah, oh, my skeleton. Oh, he's got a block. Can I hit you? No. You're going to block me. Nothing I could do about it. Right. You are going to set him on fire.
whilst I'm here. Always nice to use a spell. And randomly hit somebody with bone shards. That's not very friendly. The curse. I can't use savage wraps from that position. That's not great. Alright, well, we'll give you some impending. Oh no. You can only hit the front two with that. Hex beam. Stress attack. Absorb curse. Alright. Maybe I'll craft this one into furniture. Let's go set you on fire. The more I get used to this game, oh, nice shot. The more I'm actually becoming aware of out for things like blocks and various other things he's got stress damage he's got plus 20 percent accuracy I we'll have some more stress damage and that's the joys of stress damage you make someone go insane and they attack their own party Opposing me, <laughs> your last. Well, that stung a little. How do you like it when I do that to you, mate? Yeah. Soon this world will be mine. Always picking up more good stuff. Yeah. Now you can come out of there. And Mummy, you can go into there. And you can come out of there. And you can go into there. I'll swap you around. And we will upgrade the Banshee. What's that? Luck. We'll upgrade your dread. Alrighty. What's that? Oh, talent. I've got another two points for talent. Um, destruction. I can't afford that one. Alright, what else have we got? Magic. show you a little magic trick. Okay, that's Erratus upgraded. And because I just don't have enough minions... Oh good, I've got some armor now so I can... create a skeleton. More bones for the dogs of war. That gives me a couple more level 1 skeletons I can use. 
I'll shove you in there. And go back to the dungeon. Oh boy. An event requiring the participation of Eratus himself or the current battle group. Well, let's select battle group one. And let's head to... As you progress upon your journey towards your rightful dominance, you encounter an impressive mustering of resistance. A massive shuffling of feet and your undead host becomes across an even larger host of human slaves. A single dwarf taskmaster is at the head, grinning with darkened teeth as he whips his thralls against you. For the first time in a long time, you realise you are outnumbered. Okay. Let's have a skeleton assassinate the dwarf. All for my future kingdom. This situation calls for a subtle approach. Hidden behind your other minions, a skeleton pulls back in the direction you came from and lays on the ground pretending to be dead. Then just as the slaves charge, you order a retreat and the dwarf follows in order to lead the, his horde. To his surprise, the simple skeleton at his feet suddenly stirs and impales him through his chest. The other slaves panic without their master and without their master scatter rapidly in every direction, making them easy pickings for your minions. That worked. Okay. Cultists. I can either have that or a sacrificial altar. By sacrificing minions, I can receive parts. I'll go to the cultists. What am I going to get this time? The skeleton is receptive to buffs, but still immune to debuffs. Increased critical damage by an archer. Burning skull reduces the damage. Lit deals to its allies by 65%. Oh, I like the look of that one. Maybe I can now use some of its more powerful. Um, yes. I can use one of its more powerful spells. Which will stop my hurting my people as much. Okay. And I'm going this way because it's the only way I've got a choice of going. Choose Battle Squad 1 and off we go to battle. Oh, okay, this time I've found a Mad Mage and a Demolition Expert, apparently. Well, we'll give you Have a warm end, my friend. Okay, didn't really work as effectively as I'd like, but he's on fire. And you, I would say you kindly hit him, but I didn't look to see whether he had a block on. Right, you fire an arrow at him. And now you kindly hit him. And... Shard Swarm, Command I'm Dead, Sacrifice, nope. We will... Oh, that's not very nice. He threw dynamite at me. Well, that mad mage apparently hit as many of his people as he did mine. One by one, life vanishes from this world. Well, I don't want to try and hit you because you've got a block capability. So, smacking you in the face is probably a good idea. And firing an arrow into you is probably a good idea. Rain of Fire. Now he's got the skull that says he only does 65% damage to his own people. Oh, sorry, 65 less damage. <laughs> so. This never gets old. Oh, he's got a stance for the light. Ow! He's got a stance called light him, up, light him Up, which I know means he's going to throw a painful bit of dynamite at me. So he can have a hail of tea. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. A 
and that got rid of the bad mage. We live a through sad that. Sad display for mortal kind. So, and one of the nice, apart from the brain that I got, which is quite nice, the weapon I got is, if I create something with that, it makes a better minion. Now, of course, I need to upgrade people. Uh, yep, yeah, let's upgrade your attack. You, we will upgrade your attack. And... Critical attack will stun the target, or a critical attack will deal 225% damage. Or... Improve the fire. Yeah, I'll now, go with that one. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. You just have a stat upgrade, which will improve your vigor. And you have a stat upgrade, will improve your attacking ability. This is the downside of this game to get my wonderful. <laughs> healed minions back. I've actually got to go in here. Shove you to be healed. You can go in the current useful group. As can you and you. And oh, you have been upgraded. So who else could do with an upgrade? You. Stats, 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 stats. Let's upgrade your attack. And I'm just wondering, is that a skeleton I need? In that case. How did these bodies wind up here, I wonder? Was there an effort to set me free sometime in the past? Regardless, these remains will be used as fuel for my growing army. Okay, looks like that's not completed. All right, you're gonna have to go there because I'm running out of people. Let's see where the dungeon's taking me next. I will go to the grave and then I will end this episode. Okay, I can either have a Death Knight, a Bride of Eratus, or a Banshee. I'm not a big fan of Banshees. I've got... I like Archers. Okay. Well, I'm slowly making my way, my way through the wonderful mines. My minions are happily being upgraded, slowly but surely. I've got a level 5 mummy there, a level 3 archer, a level 3 thug, a level 2 skeleton, a level 3 that needs... Serve me well, my minion. Yeah, that's her upgraded. Level 7 banshee, which I'm not really using, a level 2 skeleton, a level 4 dark knight. I'm going to need more minions in the not-too-distant future, but for now, it's going okay. Alrighty, well, that's where I'm going to end episode two. What the heck's this? Humanarium? Okay, this tells me about the people I've met or haven't met so far. Conscript, Miner, Guard, Mad Mage, a Demolition Expert, a Headsman, okay, I haven't met one of those yet. And oh, I've met one of those in the, one of the other games I played. And Ataman. It's a lot of enemies I've got to run into yet. 
but I will get there. Okay, well that's where I'm going to end this episode. Slowly making progress. In fact, that's probably a good title for this episode. And hopefully, come the next episode, I should hopefully go on a nice little blast and make a load more, more progress. But we'll see. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you down the road for more of Eratus, Lord of the Dead. I think that's the name of this game. In the not-too-distant future. Cheerio!